some live classes in the other channel. Can you please solve this question in our method? 21 into 41 into 97 plus 4 power 1 by 4. Question 17, 16, 16, 27, 18, 24. This is the question. 21 into 41 into 97 plus 4 power 1 by 4. Right? He said some uh, Adar Mahendra or whatever. I don't know sir. Which he has watched it sir. 17, 16, 27, 18, 24. 21, 41, 97 plus 4 power 1 by 4. How to solve this question using ANC method. 10 seconds approach. It's a stupid question according to me. 21, 21 is an odd number. 41 is an odd number, 97 is an odd number, 4 is an even number, odd, odd, odd plus even is odd, odd power 1 by 4, equivalent to if I take the answer as k, so odd is nothing but k power 4, answer should also be an odd number, answer should also be an odd number, 3 options are out, 3 options are out, and the next one, 1, 1's are 1, 1, 7's are 7, 7 plus 4, power 1 by 4 it is 11 power 1 by 4 so if I do the answer power 4 I should get 1 7 power 4 is 7 square into 7 square 49 into 49 9 9s are 81 yes it is 1 here also 1 so just by looking at a question in 10 seconds 3 options are eliminated 16, 18 and 24 how they are eliminated 21 is an odd number 41 is an odd number 97 is an odd number odd 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 it is an odd number 4 is an even number odd plus even is odd number whenever you get already we discussed in our class whenever you get nth root of a equivalent to k so replace it a equivalent to k power n a equivalent to k power n and then I hope it is clear right sir now what you can do is these we are stuck with two options only 17 and 27 27 cannot be the answer because if I approximate it it is 20 into 40 into 97 plus 4 it is 8, 800 into 97 plus 4 so 0087056 77604 77604 if I do 20 power 4 only I am getting 8000 8 into 10 power 4 27 is not the answer answer is 70 just by looking at a question itself you can say the answer you can say the answer I hope it is clear right sir clear approach I hope it is clear anything that you want me to solve anybody got a doubt this is method 1 Right, method 1 is odd into odd into odd plus even, method 2 is approximation, method 2 is approximation, method 3 is unit digit, method 3 is unit digit. No need to calculate it, if you want to listen to live classes where there are calculations, please spend your time and waste time there, 21, 41, 97. I hope it is clear right sir. Right, you can also solve like this. You can also solve like this. 21 into 41 into 97 plus 4 power 1 by 4. I picked out the answer as a 17. So, delete, move it to the right hand side. 21 into 41 into 97 plus 4 is 17 power 4. You can cross check by using a digital sum whether it is a right or wrong. This is a 3, this is a 5, this is a 9 and it is a 4. It is 7 and 4. 7 5s are 35, 35 3s are 105, 105 plus 4. It is 109, 109 digital sum is 1. 109 digital sum is 1. 17 is 8, 8 power 4, 8 square into 8 square, 64 into 64, 1 ones are 1. You can check whether 17 is right or 27 is right by using a digital sum. 
by using digital sum. Very, very easy question. If you get a simplification question, consider yourself lucky. Power 1 by 4, if it goes to the right side, it will become 17 power 4, 21 is 3, 41 is 5, 97, 9 plus 7, 16, 1 plus 6, 7, it is 4. 3, 5s are 15, 15, 7s are 105, 105 plus 4 is 109, digital sum is 1, answer also it should be digital sum 1. 124. 0.25 divided by 25 percentage of same question he has asked maybe people are listening to multiple classes 0.71 power 1 by 2 options are 121 4.96 4.97 0.994 0.794 Oh my goodness They took 2 minutes to solve this question And they said this question is a very difficult question Please listen carefully it seems Very very difficult question Very very difficult question so What very difficult question sir This question is a 10 seconds answer 124.25 divided by 25 percentage is 28 into 0.71 by 100 whole, whole power 2. Are you all with me? 28. 28 is divisible by 7. 28 is divisible by 7. Answer. This is divisible by 7. Are you all with me? This is divisible by 7. 7 is a prime number. Prime number cannot be decomposed further. Answer should be divisible by 7. These are not divisible by 7. 7 1s are 7, 7 4s are 28. Finish answer. 0.994. 2 minutes question converted into 10 seconds. 2 minutes question converted into 10 seconds. 0.994, 7 1s are 7, 29, 7 4s are 28, 7 2s are 14. Is it clear? Why it is 28? 28 is nothing but 4 into 7. 4 into 7. Numerator is divisible by 7. If a numerator is divisible by 7, answer should be divisible by 7. Answer is 0.994. Idea is clear, right, sir? 0.994. Right? Idea is clear. Next question. Third question. If you want uh, traditional methods and everything, you can go through this. Right? Deepak, do not waste your time in cracking jokes, sir. Right? Just for your information, I am a very serious teacher. 0.994. Second one over. Third one, please write down. Third one, please write down. If you want to calculate it, you can calculate it and waste your time. Please calculate it and waste your time. Write down third question. Why it is happening? Always listen carefully. Logic. Logic. Logic, if you see, if you understand this logic, 28 is 4 into 7, 7 is a prime number, prime number cannot be decomposed further, 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 be decomposed further. so what you can do is, you can actually check it out. It cannot be 4.97 beta. Just think logically. 124.25 is 125. In 28, if I take 20, approximately, divided by 25 into 100. This both itself is getting cancelled. 0.7. Are you all with me? Right? It cannot be 4.97. Approximate the values and eliminate the option which has got the same digital sum. Approximate the values and Get the same digital sum. I hope it is clear. Right? Why it is not divisible by 7, sir? 28 is divisible by 7, right? 28 is 4 into 7. 4 into 7. These are all silly questions. Right? Write down third question. Another question. 368 into. You can put a valued doubts in your live chat. I will discuss. 368 into 5.5 .5 minus 168 into. 7.5 equivalent to question mark and 200 question mark and 200 it is 
8 point please write down sir 8.54 7.64 7.64 6.74 8.54 7.74 I will tell you multiple method 368 into 5.5 minus 168 into 7.5 is 100 I have seen right I generally do not watch any other teachers videos and <laughs> Today morning I just watched one video where there are million subscribers in that channel and the teacher is explaining and the kids are telling it is a superb way of solving. What is, how he solved is 6.5 minus 1. I will tell you first how he solved. 168 into 6.5. Right? Because you have not met better teachers whatever the teacher is that is telling you are thinking that itself is the better method 168 you take it as 8.34 sir 8.34 6.4 plus 1 how he did it is so 3 D is the same method which I am doing what he did it then I will tell you A and C method minus 168 into 6.5 minus 368 and minus 168 so it is 200 into 6.5 minus how much it is 536 so it is 200 200 is nothing but 1300 minus 536 so it is nothing but 764 764 divided by 100 is 7.64 traditional method of solving if you want this kind of if you want this kind of explanation you should quit my channel right useless way of solving useless way of solving stop watching this kind of live classes and waste your time sir 368 into 5.5 .5, he wrote it as 6.5 minus 1 7.5 he wrote it as 6 plus 1 so 6.5 common 368 minus 168 200 into 6.5 minus 536 1300 minus 536 764 here 100 is there better 7.64 if you keep on watching this this your mind will become numb right you will think that these are the this is the only way to solve right method 2 listen carefully method 2 method 2 a and C 1, A and C 2. Three methods I will discuss. Method 2 and method 3. Both the ways you will get the same answer. This question, if I solve it, it takes 10 seconds. 368 is divisible by 4. 368 is divisible by 4. Last two digits should be divisible by 4. 68 is also divisible by 4. If I subtract two numbers which are divisible by 4, answer will be divisible by 4. Divisibility rule of 4 is last two digits should be divisible by 4. Last two digits should be divisible by 4. Stupid answer options. Stupid answer options. Only one option is there. So answer is B. What if more than one answer option has the same digital sum? That also we will discuss. I hope it is clear right sir. 68 is divisible by 4. Last two digits should be divisible by 4. 168 is also divisible by 4. If I subtract two numbers which are divisible by 4, answer should be divisible by 4. What is the divisibility rule of 4? What is the divisibility rule of 4? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. A person who just copied this question, sir, he has not used his mind while keeping answer option. Why am I doing method 3? What if more than one answer option has the same digital sum? 54 is not divisible by 4. 74 is not divisible by 4. 34 is not divisible by 4. And 74 is not divisible by 4. Right? I hope it is clear, right, sir? So, in 200, if you keep it to the right hand side, this number will become numerator is divisible by 4 by 100. This will become point. Suppose if it is for you, Kumar Priyank, 32 divided by 100 is 0.32. That means if I keep this 100 to the left hand side, this entire number in decimal should be divisible by 4. Am I right? Why do you like to work with into 100? Make divide by 100. Make divide by 100. 
68 divided by 100 is nothing but 0.68. That means entire number other than the question mark is divisible by 4. Divisible by 4. Right, go to another. Please listen to my explanation. My explanation is, I did like this. Again, I am explaining. 368 into 5.5 .5 minus 168 into 7.5 divided by 100 is x. I am saying this is divisible by 4. Any number divisible by 4. Any number divisible by 4 by 100. It is divisible by 4. I hope you got the logic. I divided by 100. Divisible by 100. Right? Next, write method 3. Please write down. Method 3. Method 3. I am not using only method 2. Method 1, method 2 and method 3. Method 3. Please write down. Method 3. Right? Please start listening to my entire explanation. I know what all doubts students will get it and where all they might get it. You don't need to worry. I will answer the questions in the doubts. Right. Options write down. 8.64, 7.64, 6.64. Eight point five four, seven point six four. Method three, method three, method three. Apply digital sum. Apply digital sum. Along with method two, keep an eye on the answer option. Delete the digits whose sum is a nine. Eight into five plus five is a ten. Minus eight plus one is a nine. Six into 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 is 3, so 8 minus 18, 8 minus 9, 8 minus 9 is minus 1, minus 1. When you get a digital sum minus 1, add 9 to it, 9 minus 1 is 8, 100, reverse 8 by 1 is 8. Answer digital sum in the question mark should be 8, answer in the digital sum should be 8. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 4, 17. 1 plus 7, 8. Are you all with me? In case if you are stuck with more than one answer option, where the last two digits is divisible by 4, use a digital sum. Use a digital sum. Method 2 and method 3, combination should be used if there is, if you are in trouble. Method 2 and method 3, combo should be used if you are in trouble. If you are in trouble. I hope it is clear. 560 into 99. I will teach you multiple method depending upon the question. You take what you think is comfortable. Mathematics is by nature is an undecidability. A problem is said to be undecidable if there exists many ways to solve a problem or if there exists or if there exists no way to solve a problem. 615.2. Next one is 805.2. Next one is 605.2 and the next one is 607.2 808.2 615.2 8.05.2 605.2 607.2 Nirish 74 should be divisible by 4 I discussed it so 6.74 is eliminated Listen carefully to each and every statement of mine when I am taking the class. Right? You will understand it very, very clearly. Method 1. Method 1. How students will solve this question? Let us see. 100 percentage is nothing but 560. 1 percentage it is nothing but 5.6. 0.5 percentage, half of 5.6 is 2.8. So how this is the traditional method, then I will discuss the optimal method. Right, traditional method you will find it everywhere, but probably if students who want to learn concepts and everything, you have to listen to my class. 560 into 100 minus 0.5 percentage, this is 100 percentage is 560, 0.5 is 2.8. 560.2.8 is 557.2 557.2 root of 3 is 2304 it is a perfect square write down the side heading sir side heading please write down 
silent ding please write down one by one we will discuss the concept so first one we got 557.2 plus something that something we will find out first traditional method then shortcut please write down silent ding how to find the how to find the how to find the square root of a how to find the square root of a first concept it is a perfect square second concept it is a non perfect square non perfect square non perfect square listen carefully it is a root of 2304 because it is a perfect square go from the right keep a slash after two digits if i keep a slash after two digits it is ending with 4 2 square is 4 and 8 square is 64 keep a slash after two digits which number on square i will get 4 2 square is 4 and 8 square is 64 23 lies between which two numbers 4 square 16 and 5 square 25 what is the smallest number smallest number is 42 or 48 so there are two options 42 or 48 then apply digital sum so if i assume the answer to be 42 this will become 2304 equivalent to 42 whole square 4 plus 37 7 plus 29 4 plus 26 6 square is 36 9 digital sum is matching so answer is 42 Answer is 42. Root of 2304 is 42 because of this. First, listen carefully, sir. First, I will discuss the perfect square. Then I will discuss the non-perfect square logic. Non-perfect square logic. Then I will discuss second one. Root of 5929. Root of 5929. Step number one. Start from the rightmost. Keep a slash after two digits. If I keep a slash after two digits, nine nine means which all numbers? Three square nine and seven square forty nine. So answer will be either three or seven. Fifty nine will be seven square forty nine and eight square is sixty four. Take the smallest number seventy three or seventy seven. Seventy three or seventy seven. Seventy three or seventy. Right here, if your digital sum is not matching, please see it. So, what is the question here? Right. So, I think put a question mark here. Right. Put a right, right, right. Put a question mark here. Right. Hey, month. I did a small mistake. Square root of two three zero four. I am stuck between forty two and forty eight. You are right, and I am wrong. Right. I did a silly mistake. I did a calculation mistake. I did a calculation mistake. Just cooperate, sir. I did a calculation mistake. Good that we are doing this problem. Good that I did it. I can explain a concept. Good that I did a mistake. I can explain what happens if digital sum is same. Good that I did a mistake. Good that I did a mistake. I can explain and I can explain. I can explain what if. i can explain what if more than one answer option has the same digital sum i can explain what if more than one answer option has the same digital sum i am happy that i made this mistake i am happy that i made this mistake please write down this doubt so 2304 equivalent to 42 square is matching 9 and 48 square is also matching 9 i am happy i am happy that i did a mistake it explains a new concept right it explains a new concept now 45 square 45 square is 45 into 45 already we discussed 55s are 25 add 1 i got 2025 2300 is greater than 45 so answer for this question is 48 Answer for this question is 48. If more than one answer option, digital sum is the same. Use the squares logic. 45 into 45 is 55 are 25, 54 are 20. 2300 is greater than 2000. Answer is 48. Answer is 48. Right? Answer is 48. I hope it is clear. I am happy that I made that mistake. One more question. Root of 5929. This question you might get it if a digital sum is matching. 
கீபே ஸ்லாஷ் ஆஃப்டர் டூ டிஜிட்ஸ் கீபே ஸ்லாஷ் ஆஃப்டர் டூ டிஜிட்ஸ் நைன் நைன் இஸ் த்ரீ ஸ்கொயர் நைன் அண்ட் செவன் ஸ்கொயர் நைன் பிப்டீன் நைன் லைஸ் பிட்வீன் விச் டூ நம்பர்ஸ் செவன் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபார்ட்டி நைன் அண்ட் எயிட் ஸ்கொயர் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபோர் டேக் த ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் ஒன் டேக் த ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் ஒன் செவன்டி த்ரீ செவன்டி செவன் செக் பை யூசிங் டிஜிட்டல் சம் செக் பை யூசிங் டிஜிட்டல் சம் சோ ரூட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் ரூட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் ரூட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் வில் பி ரூட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் வில் பி செக் பை யூசிங் அ டிஜிட்டல் சம் சோ ரூட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் இஃப் ஐ யூஸ் செவன்டி த்ரீ சோ திஸ் வில் பி ஃபைவ் நைன் டூ நைன் ஈக்வல் அண்ட் டூ செவன்டி த்ரீ ஸ்கொயர் செக் பை யூசிங் அ டிஜிட்டல் சம் செக் பை யூசிங் அ டிஜிட்டல் சம் ஃபைவ் பிளஸ் டுவ் இஸ் செவன் செவன் பிளஸ் த்ரீ இஸ் டென் ஒன் ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் ஒன் செவன் இஸ் நாட் ஈக்வல் அண்ட் டூ ஒன் சோ திஸ் இஸ் நாட் தி ஆன்சர் answer is 77 i hope it is clear right sir in the answer more than one answer option has the same digital sum more than one answer option has the same digital sum i hope it is clear right sir i hope you understood the mistake which i did it 77 i hope it is clear let us get back to the question let us see the question let us see the question where are we right now right anyway this is a traditional method every teacher will teach you like this let us be little smarter in our approach right now suppose if the question is what is the question that we are discussing 560 into 99.5 percentage plus root of 2304 plus a root of 2304 what did we got for this answer this answer we got it as 557.2 what is answer we got 48 so answer is nothing but 605.2 but the method whatever we are using is nothing but a mathematical calculation method mathematical calculation method this method in case if you are preparing like this right without doing an acid test always perform acid test first always perform acid test if the acid test fails then only go for this mathematical calculation method mathematical calculation method 605 557.2 plus 48 pramod i will explain please listen carefully let me solve it in method 2 shall we discuss method 2 sir method 2 method 2 method 2 listen carefully to the question 560 into 99.5 percentage plus root of 2304 it is how much root of 2304 is how much apply digital sum if i apply digital sum 6 plus 5 is 11 9 9 cancel it is 5 2 5 are 10 1 plus 1 plus suppose what is the answer 605.2 605.2 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 2 13 13 digital sum is 4 anyway this digital sum is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 only one option matching that is 605.2 i hope it is clear that is only 605.2 605.2 i hope it is clear right sir idea is clear not already i discussed many a times but because pramod is asking i will discuss every perfect square has a digital sum every perfect square has a digital sum 1 4 7 or 9 every perfect square has a digital sum 1 4 7 or 9 next point beta a perfect square never ends with a perfect square never ends with 2378 a perfect square never ends with 2378 next one if a perfect square is ending with 4 if a perfect square is ending with 4 tens place should be even right tens place should be even if a perfect square is ending with 1 9 square 81 11 square 121 19 square 361 tens place should be even depending upon the unit digit take it 4 square 
सिक्स स्क्वायर थर्टी सिक्स फोर्टीन स्क्वायर वन नाइंटी सिक्स टेन्स प्लेस इज आर्ड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द यूनिट डिजिट टेन्स प्लेस नेचर विल बी देयर प्लीज मेक ए नोट ऑफ ऑल दिस थ्री की पॉइंट ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर हैज ए डिजिटल सम वन फोर सेवन आर नाइन रिवर्स मे आर मे नॉट बी ट्रू रिवर्स मे आर मे नॉट बी ट्रू इफ ए नंबर हैज ए डिजिटल सम वन फोर सेवन आर नाइन द नंबर मे आर मे नॉट बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर राइट आई होप इट इज क्लियर Every perfect square has a digital sum one four seven R nine. We will take few examples so that it will be clear, sir. Listen carefully to every question. Every question will teach you one concept. If I do a mistake, I will tell you what are all the possible question mistakes that you can do also. Right? I hope it is clear. Write down few questions, then we will get into it. First question. First question. Root of 273 is it a perfect square no a perfect square never ends with 237 or 8 so it is a non perfect square suppose if i take root of 19 any perfect square ending with 9 tens place should be even tens place should be even tens place is odd it is also a non perfect square which method to apply depends upon the number suppose if the question is 3746 A perfect square ending with six. Tens place should be an odd, so it is a non-perfect square. Non-perfect square. Are you all with me, right, sir? Every perfect square has a digital sum one four seven R nine. A perfect square never ends with two three seven R eight. If it is ending with other than two three seven R eight, please check. Please check the tens place nature. 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 First is we discussed how to solve whether a number is a perfect square or not. Next concept. Please write down. Please write down the next concept. I hope it is clear, right, sir? So many times already two classes of simplification are over. Already it is over. Suppose if I want to find the root thirteen, how to find the Approximate. This also I discussed, but because so many new students are there, I am discussing all this shortcut. Live classes are happening from April sixteenth. Hundred hours of classes are over already, right? Approximate square root of a non-perfect square. Approximate square root of a non-perfect square. We discussed the two x concept, three x square concept. We also discussed one more concept. Root thirteen lies between which two perfect squares? Root nine and root sixteen. Root nine is three plus. Take these difference. Thirteen and nine it is four. Sixteen and nine is seven. Approximately the value is three four by seven. Approximately the value is three four by seven. If you want the approximate square root of a non-perfect square, approximate square root of a non-perfect square. Take the previous and the next. Thirteen is greater than nine, so it is the three plus thirteen nine difference is four. Sixteen nine difference is seven. Answer is very very close to three four by seven. Suppose if it is a root thirty one, root thirty one lies between root twenty five and root thirty six. Root twenty five is five. Thirty one twenty five is six. Thirty six twenty five is eleven. Answer is five six by eleven. Five six by eleven. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Five six by eleven. Suppose if the question is root of ninety seven. 97 lies between which two perfect squares root 81 and root 100 root 81 is 9 plus this is 16 181 answer is 19 answer is approximately 916 by 19 if the root number of dig digits are increasing it is 3 digits 4 digits 5 digits number of digits are increasing all the students who are listen to my previous live classes we discussed a beautiful concept known as 2x concept if it is cubed root of digits we also discussed known as 3x square concept i hope my old students can reply back those who have listen to this concept 2x and 3x square. Many many shortcuts we discussed from April 16th. Close to 100 hours of YouTube live classes are over already. If you came to know about this channel, right? Very late. Very late, you will be in a problem. Jai Nayak, 
ஜெய் நாயக் இன் அவர் யூடியூப் லைவ் கிளாஸ் அதர் தேன் த ப்ராப்ளம் சால்விங் பிளீஸ் டு நாட் டெக்ஸ்ட் எனி திங் எல்ஸ் ரைட் அவர் யூடியூப் அவர் சேனல் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அண்ட் அப்சல்யூட்லி கான்செப்சுவல் ஓரியன்டெட் ரைட் டு நாட் டாக் எனி திங் எல்ஸ் இஃப் யூ டாக் எனி திங் எல்ஸ் யூ வில் பி பிளாக்ட் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி வெரி சீரியஸ் அட்மாஸ்பியர் வென் இட் இஸ் ஸ்டடீஸ் இட் இஸ் ஓன்லி ஸ்டடீஸ் when it is studies when it is only studies i think old students you have listened to this logic i hope the idea is clear right sir i hope the idea is clear write down few more questions write down few more questions sir few more questions few more questions you take any logic that comes into your mind write few more questions extremely useful for your di 56 percentage of 480 plus something equivalent to 300 it is nothing but it is equivalent to 300 options please write down options 53 next is 55 next is 48 and next is 61 next is 61 61 i want everybody to listen carefully to this question please do not calculate think logically this is an even number this is an even number plus something 300 is even even plus even plus something is even this has to be even answer is 48 10 seconds original mock question right 10 seconds what if more than one option has got the same digital same option 58 please write down 53 58 48 61 and 58 56 is even 44 50 is even even plus something is even that something should be even always do this acid test before using your stupid calculation methods right acid test please perform this acid test before going and solving this question right next one this method one my role is to teach you multiple methods then depending upon your practice you are these all these methods will come into your mind if you keep on solving problems method 2 method 2 method 2 56% age of 450 56% age of 450 plus something is 300 that is the beauty sumit you are thinking in the right way beta you are thinking in the right way that is what i was about to explain 450 is a 9 9 means it is divisible by 3 300 is also divisible by 3 this number is also divisible by 3 very good i want kids to think like kids to think like sumit right so 48 is also divisible by 3 48 is also divisible by 3 method 3 method 3 see here 9 plus 12 is 21 can i say these both digital sums are same 12 digital sum is 3 21 is also digital sum is 3 suppose if i take 9 plus 42 it is 51 these both digital sum are also same right it is 6 now if you see 450 450 is 450 is 9 9 into any number 9 9 plus something digital sum is 3 9 plus something digital sum is 3 these are digital sum should be 3 48 48 4 plus 8 12 1 plus 2 3 finish 